At the midway point of the season, the Razorbacks are 13 and 2 and unbeaten at home. That hasn't stopped critics from judging their legitimacy in the SEC. Some knock the Hogs for their short bench or their size. But what's winning games isn't a variable that can be measured. It's their fight. Arkansas captured their first conference road win over Ole Miss on Saturday night, but it took a gutsy comeback. The Hogs trailed by, uh, by 11 in the second half. That's the same deficit they, ch they chipped away at in last month's statement win at Indiana. Their other road win on the year, climbing back in overtime to beat Georgia Tech. Arkansas is no perfect team, but Eric Musselman is sure of one thing. From tip to final buzzer, his Hogs always have life. I just think that this group like they don't we don't really fear anything you know and and um in the huddle half time like they still think they're going to win i think that's a mark of a really tough team i mean we literally could could be sitting here without a loss too you know we're one rebound away at lsu and last 40 seconds at western kentucky we never panicked we wanted to come here and win it didn't look pretty at first but we came out with a w and we all just stayed gritty we're a resilient team we're just gonna keep fighting to the end of the game there's not too much pressure for us towards that end because we know we've done it before. When you have that confidence that you've done it before, it just comes down to execution and making big plays. Arkansas is back home for their next two games. Vanderbilt is in town on Wednesday. And looking ahead to next weekend, number 14 Kentucky pays a visit to Fayetteville. It's a chance to, for these fearless hogs to prove to the SEC that they mean business. Only three more games remain in the NFL season. After this weekend's divisional round action, four teams remain each sitting on the doorstep of a Super Bowl berth. Let's recap those games and see who's playing in conference championships. We start off in the AFC, a stunner on Saturday night as the six-seed Tennessee Titans knock off the one-seed Baltimore Ravens 28-12. Derrick Henry and the Titans carried momentum from their wildcard upset over the Patriots, jumping out in front 14-zip. MVP candidate Lamar Jackson in the Ravens offense stalls as Tennessee makes the AFC championship for the first time since 2002. And their opponent will be the Kansas City Chiefs. The Texans took over early, going up 24 zip after a quarter. But Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs woke up and started clicking. A four touchdown second quarter by Mahomes put the Chiefs in the driver's seat. And they'd hit the gas in the second half, pulling away for a 51 31 win. The Chiefs scored 41 unanswered, erasing the Texans' hot start and turning a deficit into a rout. The AFC Championship game is set. Chiefs host the Titans at Arrowhead next Sunday at 2.05 Central Time. Their last meeting went down to the wire. Tennessee won in November 35-32. The Titans now enter as perhaps the hottest team in football. They'll be out for another upset in Kansas City. For the Chiefs, reigning MVP Pat Mahomes looks to punch his ticket to a first Super Bowl appearance. Now to the NFC. The one-seed 49ers are one win away from the Super Bowl. San Francisco took control early and did away with the Vikings by a tune of 27 to 10. The Vikings' wild card win over the Saints had some thinking that they could compete in the Bay. But alas, the 49ers' suffocating defense and ball control offense proved too much to handle. San Fran went 4 and 12 last season with Jimmy Garoppolo out for the season. Now Kyle Shanahan's team has a chance to be AFC champs. They'll play the winner of the game you just watched on Sunday at 5:40 p.m. Central. That's all for sports. More news and weather right after the break.